What is going on guys, it's Reflex here and this is my first ever voice impression tutorial. I'm still a little bit sick, but I'm going to try to do this nonetheless. I think I can still do it. If not, this probably won't be uploaded and I don't know why I'm actually saying this specific information, but it doesn't matter, let's get to it. So the first voice impression tutorial is for none other than Solid Snake and the thing about this voice is one of the harder voices to do, but also the most requested voice that I've seen when I first brought this up, as well as I've seen many people wonder how to do it. And before I even start this, make sure you grab yourself a bottle of water and a glass of milk. The glass of milk is important for only this voice. This is the only voice that I'm going to mention grabbing a glass of milk. But for the bottle of water, that's just to keep yourself hydrated because when it comes to doing voice impressions or any voice anything, you want to make sure you hydrate yourself for the reason that you don't want to damage your voice because when you talk, normally if you talk over time doing voices, you're going to strain your voice and if you don't hydrate yourself, you're going to damage it and then, well, you might not even be able to talk. You, it might be straining to where you're just going to have to stay quiet for a couple days because it will be like, it'll, it'll be sore pretty much. But the first part of the voice impression, the first step I should say, is finding the tone. And that's for pretty much all these steps will be the same, just little variations between characters. But for the first step, it's always going to be the same, finding the tone. So, for instance, Solid Snake, he has a little bit of deeper tone. And the, some people's mistakes is they try to add the rasp in right away. And the thing is, you want to take it by steps. So we got to figure out where the tone is. So for instance, Solid Snake has a little bit of a deeper voice, so when we say War has changed, we gotta find out where it is without the rasp. So without the rasp of War has changed, this is pretty much how it's going to sound. War has changed. And I know that that does not sound like Snake at all, but we're taking this by steps. And believe me, once you get that tone down, listen to the actual War has changed speech, and or listen to my voice impression, or just take what I just did and just practice that. Say it, pause the video, and practice that for the next like four minutes and just keep going at it until you get that toned down. Once you get that toned down, then next is the most vital part is the rasp. Learning how to get the rasp going and for some people, they can't get rasp so they need to do it the artificial way. But one, if you've been smoking for 40 years or do any type of smoking and you have that rasp just, you know, you've been smoking a pack of cigarettes for 40 years straight every day. You know, you'll be fine with this and you won't even need this glass of milk. But for the people that don't have rasp and they need to do it artificially, then the glass of milk helps for at least, I would say, about 30 minutes of practice. So right now, down that glass of milk and let's get ready for the actual rasp step. So for the rasp, it's different for everyone. And honestly, it's the hardest part to teach because it's honestly almost unteachable, but I'm going to do my best. So... For basically before, after you get done drinking your glass of milk, and this sounds so weird the way I'm describing this, but do not clear your throat. Many people when you know, this is the feeling that you're supposed to have when you're going to do this. And many people clear their throat and then they can't do it. So when you drink that glass of milk, do not clear your throat. That sensation is what's going to help your rasp. Now right now, just go ahead and talk. And I know this is going to sound weird, but talk without clearing your throat. And you'll notice probably, at least for some people, that there's going to be a little different sound in your voice like it's kind of raspy. And that's kind of normal. Now practice that. Try to learn to get that rasp down. If you need another glass of milk, go get another glass of milk. But just keep practicing that. Get it down. And then just start practicing saying war has changed. We're not going to worry about the inflections on where to put the rasp at the moment. But just keep practicing it. Now a little pointers is... Just try to speak it, and then if you're not really getting it, try to force it out, but not force it out too much, but just try to, war has changed. Now, a little tip I can give is when you say war, just kind of, kind of like push out air, but utilize more like of a growl at the end of it, and just be like, war, war, and just keep doing that. And try to add a growl at the end of it. And if it sounds like it's doing well with the milk or whatever it is you're doing, then continue and try it. Now, like I said, pause this video and keep practicing it until you can get that rasp down. Now, as I said, doing voice impressions is pretty, pretty difficult. So don't be discouraged if you can't get it right now. But keep practicing because this is the hardest step. But once you get this step, you pretty much can do snake. Because once you get the rasp and once you get the tone down... You're practically snake and you're getting into this third step and it's basically simple from here. Now for the third and final step is where to put the rasp or the inflections of the rasp and blending it. Now the most important thing and the most common mistake when doing Solid Snake's voice is people normally put the rasp literally everywhere. They put the rasp, 
you know, let's say war has changed, but we're literally rasp themselves through the whole entire thing. And the thing is, David Hayter doesn't do that. Normally, when you, you know, not really study him, but listen to David Hayter's voice a lot, you'll notice that one, he puts his rasp at the end of his sentences and also at the long drawn out words. And why I picked war has changed is because the first line literally kind of signifies how he does his snake all the time. Now, if you listen, war has changed. He takes a little bit of time. The long drawn out word is war. And that's normally where he adds his first bit of rasp on all the long drawn out words. Now, has is an actual quick word, so he doesn't put any rasp there. So basically, you do rasp on the first word of war, and then you use that tone that you learned and put it on the has, and then change is the end of that line, so that's where you're going to put the rasp. So basically, it should sound like, war has changed. And that might not have sound perfect because I'm still sick, but you guys have heard what I could do with it. And basically, you just have to practice that, and you could use any different line. For instance, there is another line where it's the Hudson River two years ago. It's, you know, it's a little bit difficult, but it still has the same inflection. The Hudson River two years ago. As you can see, the Hudson River, it's a pretty quick line, but river is the end and also the drowned out word. So that's why the Hudson River. You know, if you do it really slow, you can see exactly how he's supposed to do it and how he actually does it. So the thing is to really just practice, learn where his long drawn out words is, or even say anything you want, honestly. And just practice where to put rasp and where not to put it. Now, I know this sounds confusing, but that's the thing. Voice impressions, honestly, are confusing. And they're confusing to teach, but hopefully I'm making it a little bit more simpler to follow along to or even be able to do. But now let's actually put all the steps together. So, for instance, tone. War has changed. So we got that little deep part. Just repeat that. War has changed. And then add in the rasp. So if you got another glass of milk, go ahead and drink that. But then you're going to add in the rasp to it. Let's just not even worry about where to put it. But war has changed. War has changed. And, you know, it's kind of hard to continue, continuously do the line and keep the rasp in the same place. And I've done the line so much to the point where I can't really accidentally do it wrong. But it's pretty, you'll get it. But like I said, I'm not going to be the best voice impression teacher, but if I can at least help out a little bit, then I feel like I accomplished something. But what I want people to do, if you at least can or want to, create a response video, or it doesn't have to be a response video on YouTube, but create a response video wherever you'd like, on YouTube, on Discord, on, or even just a MP3 file of any sort, but do it on YouTube, on Discord, on Twitter, Shoot, message me on Xbox if you wanted to, and do this line. I'm going to do it right now, but war has changed. It's no longer about nations, ideologies, or ethnicity. But go ahead and do that line. It doesn't have to be perfect, but if I can at least see some people attempt it and then send it back to me, you know, that'd make my day to see that people tried. And I wanted to see as many people as possible try this. So, like I said, try it and send it to me. I'm not going to judge anyone because I'm trying to teach. And like I said, if you think you can't do it right away, of course not. No one can do it right away. You know how long it took me to do Solid Snake's voice? It took me at least, I would say, seven years of continuously doing it. Because I remember starting to do it in fifth grade, sounding like a squeaker, saying, War has changed. And, you know, just trying to do all his voice and everything. And then ninth grade came along, I got a little bit better at it, and I continued to do it. And, you know, basically it was just practice throughout my life and finally getting it down. And now it's gotten to the point where I like doing voice impressions, so now I do multiple characters. But yeah, hopefully I helped in any way, shape, or form, honestly. If I didn't, let me know down in the comment section below, and then I won't continue the series at all. But if I did help, and you think that this could be a good series to do in the future then go ahead and uh, let me know that as well. And also, if I did do it well, then let me know another character you want to see in the future. And if you guys did enjoy, leave a like, subscribe, and you guys on the drill, I will see you guys later.